as we await that decision, that ruling by the Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo that's expected at around 10 o'clock this morning if he will recuse himself from the state capture inquiry. We know, of course, uh, that the former President Jacob Zuma has found another affidavit in which he insists that uh, Zondo was downplaying their relationship, insisting they are friends. Let's get some views now from uh, retired uh, former Constitutional Court uh, Justice, as Judge Zak Yakub. Uh, Judge Yakub, good morning. Thank you very much uh, for your time this morning. I saw a media report just a couple of days ago in which you are quoted as saying that whatever Zondo decides in this case will be right. Do you still maintain that position just uh, less than half an hour to go before we find out what that decision would be? Will it be a right decision for us? I absolutely think it will be right. It will be right because uh, Justice Zondo is a careful and honest man. And he is not going to sit in a case when he has even the slightest doubt. And because he is an honorable human being, properly appointed as the deputy chief justice of this country, with no mark against his name, I would ex accept his decision with no problem. But now, since it is so close to the time when the judgment is being delivered, I hope he doesn't delay it anymore. I think if I say what I think about the case, I won't be affecting the proceedings because it's probably decided already. I will be very, very surprised if Judge Zondo recuses himself. He is not going to do so. And I will not criticize his judgment if it goes the other way. I want to make it quite clear. But if I had been the judge in the case, I would never have recused myself because one of the tactics that people employ is to unsettle the judiciary, unsettle courts in the hope that that will work to their advantage. And uh, I don't think that we should be uh, in a position where we, where we fall for such cheap tactics. And cheap tactics, they certainly are. They are obviously cheap and ridiculous, and in my view, highly improper tactics. But uh, let us hear, having said all that, if Justice Zondo recuses himself, I would accept that decision because we've got to have that discipline. You can have your views about the case, but once a judgment is delivered, particularly of this kind, we must have the discipline to accept it and move on. Now, Judge Yakub, you say what uh, Zuma's lawyers are doing is cheap tactics, uh, yeah. but, but, but if you follow his logic of alleged bias, would the yeah. bias then not be in his favor because they are friends, as he claims? I think that it, 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 his argument is wrong at that level because it doesn't help him. Objectively, though, if he is in, objectively, if we're talking about the case, so if he is uh, against Jacob Zuma, he shouldn't sit. And if he is for Jacob Zuma too, he shouldn't sit. So objectively, that is right. Um, but I, I, I think that uh, um, Judge Zondo is a is an old hand and practiced at exercising an independent mind. He has had years of judicial experience. He knows what he is doing, and he will get it absolutely right. How should we, as public, react? Come ten o'clock, if he says, "Yes, we are acquaintances. Yes, we've spoken, and uh, I've met him more than I said in my testimony on Monday." Remember, on Monday. The Deputy yeah, Chief yeah. Justice put on the record uh, the, the whole yeah. issue about being friends or not, but uh, I'm not seeing any conflict of interest here. How should we as a public respond to that? We should, as a public, be very clear that there, has, there is no conflict. We should, trust Deputy Chief, we should trust Deputy Chief Justice Zonda if he says that? Absolutely. Because you've got to, you know, in a soccer game of, or a cricket game, game, you don't play the referee or the empire, you play the ball, don't you? Yes. 
And this is a classic case of unduly playing the referee. You must not play the man, you must play the ball. But because a ball is difficult, you go on unfair rugby tackles. So in this case, the cheap tactics, as you say, that are being applied are focusing on the referee, the man, in this case, the deputy chief justice, instead of dealing with the ball, the issue that is at hand, which is the inquiry into state capture <laughs> allegations of corruption that have been leveled by witness after witness uh, against the former president. That's right. And it happens in every game of sport where people don't deal with the ball properly they start complaining about the referee. And usually the complaints about the referee are not well founded. Okay. Now, if he recuses himself, there are some implications for the commission. What I do understand, when the Chief Justice Mukweng Mukweng ap appointed him to chair this inquiry way back in 2018, there was no backup. There was no deputy chair of the commission. From your experience, what will be the legal implications of a recusal? I think that the commission will have to start all over again in the recusal. And that's one of the factors which the deputy chief justice will have to take into account in determining whether to recuse himself or not, because the consequences of his recusal means that all the work that has been done up to now will go to waste. And that is the objective, I think, of the lawyers bringing the case. They are bringing the case, not in terms of justice as far as, far as I am concerned, but to make money out of a legal situation, uh, or because they have loyalties to this man, they want to secure him an unfair advantage. And I don't think, in my personal view, and I've written a paper on this, that lawyers should do everything in a way which contributes towards justice. And there are limits to how far they should go. Different people have different views on these issues, but I am strongly of the view that the lawyers in this case have really gone too, too far. If I had been a lawyer, I would never have brought this application for recusal. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Judge Yakub Zak Yakub, a former Constitutional Court Justice, giving us his views. He believes in this case, Zuma's lawyers have taken this matter too far. It is not about the ball, it's about the man, and it's going to jeopardize, of course, the Commission's work so far, if Deputy Chief Justice Zondo has decided, as we'll find out at 10 o'clock, to recuse himself. But the former judge, Zakia Kup, believes that uh, Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo is going nowhere, and that is the right thing to do. He must stay in that chairperson's seat.